Folks, this is the radar right now, and it's showing some pretty decent rain, but it's just a little thin line just north of the valley, and then spotty showers over the western part of the valley right now, and then this green line out ahead of it. This is an outflow boundary that's kind of racing out ahead of the front itself, and along that, winds are a little bit gusty, up to about 30 miles an hour. So in Raymondville, you'll pick that up in the next few minutes as that wind gets gusty as that green line comes across. That's not the front itself. Front is still back here, and that will likely come across much of the valley over the next hour or so. Again, you can see how that's leading uh, the front. Yeah, the front, here's where the rain is back here. A little bit of lightning showing up around Encino. It looks like at this point, if there's anything severe in this, it's going to be isolated, hard to find. Most places picking up a quick shower, a brief shower, brief downpour. A couple places will pick up some lightning. Uh, somebody could see something severe, but we really doubt it. We look at how this is built up, and this is just one of the bigger areas of rain within this, and it's about 30. 5,000 feet tall, something like that. To have a big thunderstorm, you usually look it up here, 50, 60,000 feet. And we don't see anything in that range, at least right now. But again, the atmosphere is very unstable, and there's always potential for one of these things somewhere along this line to get a little rambunctious and turn into a severe storm. So we're going to watch that for you, keep you posted as this stuff continues pushing southward into the valley tonight. Now this is future track. Front's up here. It's already got the rain in the valley, so it's a little ahead of itself. Rain mostly sitting back here, but by the time you get to four in the morning, it's all through. In fact, probably by about one or two in the morning, it's all to the south of us and we begin the drying trend. Lower humidity air builds in bright sunshine for tomorrow. Should be a gorgeous day across the valley and Thursday looks good as well, but by then the wind is already turning back around coming out of the southeast and bring in the humidity right back in. Our rain chances tonight until about 2 a.m. stand at about 50%. After that, we go dry and we stay dry all the way through the weekend. Then on Memorial Day, Monday, chance for thunderstorm shows up again and holds with us until Tuesday. High temperature wise, tomorrow the coolest of the bunch at about 87 and with low humidity, it'll feel pretty nice. Then look at that upper 90s again for most of the rest of the forecast period. Bigger picture shows Texas tonight. Big storms in Houston we told you about last half hour. Austin, Pflugerville area saw some hail. Corpus Christi saw lots of reports of hail and some damaging winds, but by the time we get down here, we're kind of getting the remnants of that. And for the most part, we're looking at thunder showers. Not a whole lot more, but we'll keep an eye out. Still a very slight possibility of one of those cells goes severe, so we'll keep you posted on that. Then back to 87 tomorrow. Sunshine, low humidity, northerly winds about 5 to 15. After tonight, rain chances go away until probably Monday. When the rain chances go away, the humidity comes back. Look at that, upper 90s for highs, upper 70s, close to 80 for low. So enjoy tomorrow. That's the coolest and least humid of the bunch. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.